This is Nick Nielsen, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a review of a really cool add-on band kit for the JFlex Hyperbell. Now, I've done a review of the whole Hyperbell before. What this does, it allows you to use dumbbells as a barbell. So let me give you a close-up here. This is the Hyperbell. Now, normally, if you're using dumbbells, you would actually open up this clamp and you would set a dumbbell in here, and I'll link to my full review of that. Um, in terms of using dumbbells as a barbell below here. But the band kit is a really cool concept. Now, what they've done here is they've taken a little rope, basically like half of the rope that you'd use for a tricep pushdown, and you clamp down on that. So I'll uh, open this up and I'll show you real quick. I like the concept a lot. This opens up and there's your rope. Now, to use this, you basically just sit that in, clamp it down, and put the collar back on. And boom, now you've got a rope attachment. Now, the Hyperbell uh, band kit comes complete with uh, a bunch of different bands. It's got uh, five bands here, ranging from light to heavy to uh, extra heavy. Now, I've got a heavy and an extra heavy attached on here. They come with clips on the end, so you just clip it onto, basically directly onto this rope attachment. This is going to allow you to do a wide variety of band and barbell exercises. So, for example, you want to do barbell curls, you step on the bands, boom, you're doing barbell curls. If you want to do a shoulder press, you can kneel down. <laughs> and be careful about that happening, luckily the bands aren't too tight at the bottom. And then, boom, you're doing shoulder press. Now, if you want to do these for squats, uh, I recommend going for front squats instead of back squats. It's going to be much easier to get into position. So step on the bands, and then you can do a racked front squat. You can get into position and do a cross arm front squat. The cross arm front squat is going to be a bit easier to get into position, but it's a very good way to uh, do squats using band resistance. And there's room on here for multiple bands. You can see I've got two bands hooked on here. Probably wouldn't attach too many more, like maybe one more would probably be good. But uh, bottom line, uh, great piece of equipment just in general, the Hyperbell. This is built rock solid, holds a, holds a couple hundred pounds. Like for example, if you're using this with dumbbells, 100 pound dumbbell on either side, no problem. I've tested the load limit, works like a charm. When you're using this for bands, it's very, very easy to put this rope attachment. It's a really innovative fix in terms of using the same Hyperbell setup for band training. Now, what I'm going to show you here is a couple of the add-ons that you can use with this. So, ankle straps. Very simple, just Velcro, clip on, and then you attach those onto the bands, attach those uh, bands onto something else. Now, that something else could potentially be a door anchor. So, if you've never seen a door anchor before, Basically open the door, set this on top or below, and then you close the door and that braces. You can clip the bands onto that and do exercises that work in this kind of plane, work in a, uh, instead of going straight up and down for band resistance, you can do like a direct barbell curl, for example. You can face away, do a press, you can do an incline press depending on the angle. There's a lot of different options using this door anchor. Now. Single handles. These are great for attaching directly onto the bands. You don't need the barbell attachment for this. You can just hook the bands directly onto here, stand on the bands, and then you're doing dumbbell curls, or curls, I should say, with these. Now, one thing I do want to make uh, um, obvious here is the quality of these handles. A lot of times in home gyms and cable gyms, these will be just bendy handles, which I can't stand. These are actually solid rubber or plastic handles. They don't bend. So as you can see, I'm pulling on there. They're giving just a tiny little bit, but they're not folding your hand in half in a concave fashion, which a lot of these um, home gyms come, come in with cheap handles. They do. This does not. You could actually put a lot of weight on here, and this is going to keep a straight grip in your hand, which I absolutely much, much prefer. So overall, yeah, and you can literally just drop them on the ground and they don't break. Bottom line, 
Is the uh, band kit attachment for the Hyperbell a good idea? 100% it is. This is a fantastic idea. And if you've already got a Hyperbell setup, this is a great way to go. It's going to allow you to get even more usage out of the Hyperbell, even beyond just using it for dumbbell slash barbell training. If you don't have a Hyperbell, you can get one and use it with this. And then you'll also, in addition to that, have the capability of using your dumbbells for basically all kinds of barbell exercises. So this is really going to open up a lot of options for your home gym training. Uh, for me personally, the only limitations I've found with this kind of training is just the problems associated with band training itself. Um, band training can be great for a lot of exercises. For some exercises, because you don't have much resistance at the, the, the bottom, it, uh, it affects the quality of the workout for me personally. Um, you can actually absolutely get a great workout, muscle building workout, fat burning workout with bands. For me personally, I prefer free weights combined with bands. That's not an option that I've seen with this yet. <laughs> Maybe that's something I'll mess around with where I put dumbbells on here and somehow attach bands onto those dumbbells and then you're getting the benefits of free weight and you're getting the benefits of band training all wrapped up into one neat little package. But uh, as far as how to use this, um, I showed you in the beginning of this video, you just unscrew, you open it up, the thing comes out. It's really, really stupid simple. Um, it takes you maybe 20 to 30 seconds to switch out from dumbbells to bands. It's not complicated at all, especially once you get the hang of it, it'll become second nature. But uh, overall, uh, like I've found with other JFlex products, it's really good quality stuff. You'd have to really try hard to break this stuff uh, with bands because it's tubing bands. You can overstretch them if you really go to town on it. So basically use them within their specifications and you'll be absolutely fine. But uh, overall, a great take on band slash home gym training.